Okay. Today's video is going to be a review. I've went online plenty of times looking for a good review that I'd agreed with for the new Lifetime movie of Whitney Houston's life. I'm going to start off by saying, what the fuck? Second of all, what the fuck? And third of all, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I, I, I want to see Winnie Houston. I want to see Winnie Houston. Winnie Houston, Winnie Houston, Winnie Houston. My respects to whoever worked on the movie. But also, I am going to... I'm going to throw some shade out there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I have seen some really good Lifetime Movie Awards. Um, awards, okay? That's, I'm, I'm so mad. I can't even speak. I have seen some good Lifetime movies. But when it comes to uh, people, artists, celebrities, who are icons in this world, no matter what year we're in or, or anything in the past, present, or future, you don't mess up somebody's movie like that. Aaliyah's movie went down the hill. Mm -mm. They didn't use her music. They didn't use anything of her. Like, they didn't even use any of her music. But that's a different. That's a different. But that's just an example of how much they fuck up movies and people's careers. <laughs> I'm gonna say it like that. Anyways, um, throwing shade out there. The shade of it all. The shade, Miss Latrice Royale. The only okay. I, I don't even know where to start. Okay, the only review that I saw that I agreed with one hundred percent is Miss My Girl Miss T S Madison. Yes, honey. Yes. Why? Because you need to watch her video. I don't know. I'm just barely starting off in this whole YouTube thing, so I don't know how to link or anything like that. But I'm gonna try to send you this video so you can agree with me as well. First of all, this movie, I don't think it was the perfect time for a movie of Whitney Houston to come out. And if you're going to do it in, in such, you know, in the time, it hasn't even been a decade of her passing. Right? It hasn't, I don't even, like, it just hasn't even been. Okay? To me. It doesn't seem like it. People are still in mourning. We just lost one of the greatest icons. Yes, when she did her big comeback, it wasn't the same voice. But for a person with a voice that big and did so much for this industry and for our lives and for the world, you can't mess up a movie like that. Okay, um, the movie didn't even seem like it was about Whitney Houston. It did not seem like it was Whitney Houston whatsoever. It looked like it was the Bobby Brown story. Life with Whitney. Ah! Perfect fucking, excuse my language, my French, whatever you want to say, perfect title for that movie. It started off with her singing, okay? According to um, what they were saying before the movie even came out, while it was still filming and it was almost out, the movie is based on her live performances. There wasn't that many live performances. And if it's going to be based on one of her life, of her life performances, well, why the hell wouldn't she use her voice in the first place? And if you look at the scenery, it's the same freaking stage in every performance. Well, most of it. Okay? That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any fucking sense to me at all. Mm -mm. Who? No, it doesn't make any sense to me. So, that being said, it's funny how you make a movie and not letting or even ha or even have a bit of, of Whitney's families in, in any kind of control of this movie. They did not bless this movie. They did not give no blessing, like, no, do it, no. They were like, hell nah, stay away from my girl. They, they should have listened. You should have listened. That's just disrespectful. And, um, I don't even know. I don't, I, don't have, I don't have many words for it, okay? I'm not the smartest person, so I'm just going to keep it like that. This movie, and it's so funny that it, it was a Bobby Brown movie. Because they made Bobby Brown seem like, oh, he was the innocent one. Like, bitch, come on. Let's be real. Like, no hate, not hating on Bobby, you know? Like, but still. And right after Bobby Brown, like, right after the movie ended, it was an interview with Bobby Brown. Instead of interviewing her mom or someone really, really extremely close since day one on this earth of Whitney. You know what I'm saying? Bobby Brown, my respects. They were in love. They, they had a life together. 
But why speak up now, Mr. Bobby Brown? Now that she has gone from this, that she has gone from this from this world. Now that she can't defend herself, that doesn't make any sense to me. Um. Okay, it doesn't make any sense to me. I think that they messed up this movie. They should have. They should have put out some sort of documentary instead. The the new album came out that he just that her producer or her manager came out with her greatest performances. Why not collaborate with him and do some sort of documentary like they did for Michael Jackson? You know something sort of close. And nobody's ready for that. And nobody's ready to see to see Whitney like that. Like you're not ready to see Whitney like that right now. Let's be honest, you're not. I'm not ready to see Whitney like that. There was a freaking before. Okay, the, the movie started, and before the, even the first commercial, there was already a sex hot romantic scene. Now the girl just the girl just passed away for crying out loud. Like have some respect for her and her family. Like uh, uh if the family wasn't involved, why? Why make a movie about her? Why mess it up for her? It seems like they were trying to throw a lot of shade to Whitney and I don't know if shade had been around for Mr. Bobby Brown. It wasn't even, I was expecting how she started with the rough times. If you're going to make a movie about her and you want to show everything that happened, do it right. And don't put, it seemed like they were throwing blame on Whitney. Like, girl, hell no. Ain't nobody trying to see that shit right now. And if you want people to see that, you got to do it right. And it, it was a, it was like it was Bobby Brown movie featuring Whitney Houston. Let's be honest, it was okay. Um, the actors they were okay. The girl who played Whitney Houston, I'm really shocked. And not shocked because oh I saw Whitney. No no no, I'm shocked because she's a model and she acts. She can act. I didn't I didn't expect her to act as much as she did, but she did. Um, I do feel like she, her, her portrayance towards Whitney was a little forced, but it was close. I saw some Whitney in there, you know, for Lifetime, it was a good movie. Let's be honest, for Lifetime, it was a good movie, but for Whitney Houston movie of her life, it wasn't a good movie. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but according, but in, in, according to me, in my head, in this big ass fucking head, there... What what they're what they're leaving lifetime into the legacy is not good movies, especially by celebrities. So, all that being said, that was an okay movie. It was all right. It wasn't what I expected. I thought it was gonna be worse. The shit on the ground. It wasn't. But it's not a Winnie Houston movie. I'm sorry. If you're gonna do a Winnie Houston movie, do it right. Do like what the fuck. Do that shit right. But it's okay. I feel that the mom, the family of Winnie Houston, should make a big lifetime, big movie production and do it right. S step on that little movie. Do it right. This is the perfect opportunity so people can see the truth, so people can see, you know. But if you're going to do it, girl, you do it right, Winnie's mom. Do it right. Show her from the, from the best to the worst because that's what we're expecting to see in a Winnie Houston movie with all due respect, girl. There's so much that I can say up on this movie step by step, but I'm not because I don't want to make this the longest um, video ever. I just want to say I am so sorry for Whitney's family for, you know, to witness something like this. I feel like you should step up. Whitney's mom, I don't know your name, I'm so sorry. I feel like you should step up and take out the big money and, and, and you know, make her movie do it right. Another movie that I think that did it correctly was the Selena movie, the Tejano, um, the Tejano um, uh, award-winning singer, Selena. They did a good job. There was a perfect movie, something like that you should do. But uh, I, I, they were going to make a movie of my life. I would tell my parents straight out and, and whoever is managing me, if you're going to make a movie about my life, you're going to make, you're going to show everything, everything from the worst. All the way down here from the worst to all the best up here. But respectfully, because people do deserve to know. I have always famous and and if I I would feel like my fans deserve to know. If I was an icon, I feel like they, they deserve to know. So I give this movie from a 1 to a 10. I give it a 4. I, I think I think they were just they were trying to make her look bad and make Bobby Brown look good. 
that's the that's the truth of it all and that's what's gonna happen that being said I'm out I'm out of this bitch so my girl T Madison hit me up girl we can have a big conversation on this movie because I was excited it wasn't a bad movie especially for for her uh, Angela Bass's first uh, production but it wasn't the correct movie not for Winnie Houston. Change the name. Bobby Brown. Life. With Winnie Houston. Whatever the fuck I said at the beginning. I'm out. I'm leaving. I, like I said, I can sit here and talk so much shit. But I'm not going to. I don't want to make this the longest video ever. So it ain't gonna happen. But I do. Re my regards to the family. Come on. Step up your game. It's out here. It was publicly forced out here. So now I say you step up. Be the bigger person and do it right. And don't make it go straight to TV. Make that shit go to the big screen. That's what you need. Love you, Winnie. Rest in peace. And I hope I hope things turn out for the better. And I hope we see a correct Winnie Houston's life movie, not Bobby Brown's life with Winnie Houston. Ah! Another perfect title. Unless that's what I said. Alright. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go. I don't know. I don't even think this is the, the perfect review be of, of this movie either, but you know what? This is my thoughts. Welcome to my head. My thoughts on the Winnie Houston movie. I am the sin. Welcome back. If you back. If you're not, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I am a makeup artist. And I am highly influenced by my girl Winnie Houston. So this moved me in not the correct matter. But the guy who played Bobby Brown, oh, hallelujah, baby. Yes.